Hello again, Hope Talks at home. It's so lovely to see you. <gasps> William says he's so excited to see you and so excited about this story today. It's our last Bible superhero in this series. So I'm going to stick William down on his mat so he can do good watching and listening to the story today. So first of all, I want to see, have you done the activity for today? If not, have a look at the Hope Church uh, Tots website page and have a look at YouTube as well. Okay, so what do we shout when we see this? Can you remember after we sum our shout out really loud? That's right, what's in the box? Let's have a shake. Oh, there's a little bit of noise, let's have a look. Ooh, we have got a bed and a lion. Hmm. I think the story today is about a man who had to sleep with some lions. Okay, so before we jump into our story bag, let's see if we can remember this. Say it with me. Jesus is the greatest superhero. Okay, who can say that really, really loud? I want to hear you from all your different homes. Shout it out really loud. Brilliant. Jesus is the greatest superhero. Okay, fantastic. Oh, here's my flip for the story bag. Okay, what's the first thing we always have out of our story bag? Can someone shout it out? Oh, that's right, the Bible. The Bible is God's story of his rescue plan for us and his love for his people. And today's story is going to be from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament in the Bible. Okay, so our superhero today is called Daniel. It's a man called Daniel. And Daniel, oh, here we go, we've got a superhero today. And Daniel experienced some really scary things, but all the time he trusted God. Um, okay, what else have I got in my story bag we could get out? Oh, look. So, things went wrong for God's people. All of God's people were taken by King Babylon. They were captured by the King of Babylon and taken from their homes. But Daniel kept trusting God and God still loved his people and was working out his plan. Daniel was very clever and he loved God and he worked really hard and he was really good at the work he did. So much so that the king of Babylon said, wow, I really want Daniel to be in charge of all the work and of all the kingdom. And so that's what happened. But the other people, the other men that were working with Daniel, they did not like this. They wanted to be the king's favourite. And so what they did was they started spying on Daniel. Who can do some binoculars? Can you do that with your hands to make binoculars? They were spying on Daniel to see if he did anything wrong. But Daniel didn't do anything wrong. They couldn't see him doing anything wrong. And so they had to come up with a cunning plan. They knew that Daniel loved God and they knew that he talked all the time to him, that he prayed three times a day to God. And so they went to the king and they said, King, we have an idea of a new law. We think you should make a new law that people should only pray to you, the king. Now the king didn't realise he was being tricked and he thought, that sounds like quite a good idea. So he decided to make the law. So he got a new law and he said, everyone will only pray to me. They shouldn't pray to anyone else. And if they do, they will be put in a, a pit of lions. Now Daniel knew about this new law, but he loved God. And there was no way he was going to stop talking to God who he loved. So he carried on talking to God and the other men saw what he was doing and they ran to the king to tell him. The king
king realised he had been tricked. He was very sad, but there was nothing that he could do. He couldn't go against his new law. So he said to Daniel, I hope that your God that you love so much looks after you when you're with the lions. And off he went to bed, but he could not sleep all night as he was thinking about Daniel and the lions and his God. So Daniel went into the pit of lions. Do you think the lions hate Daniel? They didn't. God protected him. I don't know what Daniel and the lions did all night, but we do know that in the morning, when the king peered into the pit, Daniel was not hurt at all. He was safe. Daniel trusted God and God protected him. Superhero Daniel points us towards Jesus. Just like Daniel, Jesus loved God. He did exactly what he told him, even when it meant he had to die on the cross. Okay, so William and me have to go now, but have a look next at the God is here time and we'll see you next week. Remember, Jesus is the greatest superhero. Bye. Did you know that God is here? God is here, right here, right now. Do you think Daniel was scared in the pit of lions? The Bible doesn't tell us if he was scared, but he does tell us that he trusted in a big, strong God. What scares you? I'm going to pray that we know that God is with us and looking after us when we feel scared. Father God, thank you that you are a big, strong God and that you were able to shut the lion's mouth so they didn't harm Daniel. Thank you, God, that you are bigger and stronger than anything that might scare us. You are bigger and stronger than our scary dreams. You are bigger and stronger than any living creature that might scare us. You are bigger and stronger than the dark. You are bigger and stronger than anything that might scare us. Thank you that you are always with us and always looking after us. Amen. Now, it would be good to have a go at singing the Nothing's Too Big song again. You'll find the link to that on the Hope Tots Parents page, WhatsApp page that is. Bye Tots!